What's going on guys? Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Destiny and today we're going to be doing a ThreadUp unboxing but it's not a mystery box. These are items I picked from ThreadUp. I haven't, I opened the box but I haven't looked at them yet. I picked 20 items. Um, I kind of, they have that bundle and save. Um, so I just kind of ordered for like a week and it came today. These items I paid, I did my average cost of goods which is $9.43, which is higher than I'd like to pay. But I know most of these items will sell for at least 25, if not a little more. Okay, not all these items, most of them, but um, I get a lot of credit on, I get a lot of points on ThreadUp and they offer, now the points are a little different, but it's like 200 points is $10 off if you spend at least $15.99. So that's what I did a lot, and I like to just spend my points now and again because I order so many mystery boxes. Also, sorry, my hair is so wild today. This is just how it's gonna be. So the brand, my favorite brand to source on ThreadUp is Cool, which is K-U-H-L. And it looks like this. And then the mountain, that's their logo. These are women's shorts, and then sorry, looking, obviously, Sorry, these are my son's socks. Obviously, ThreadUp does not sell men's clothing usually, um, unless they do it by mistake. So these are a women's 14, and Cool usually has a style, but I can look it up. But shorts like this usually sell around $30 for me. So for 9.43, I was willing to risk it. These have a cool pocket down here. And you'll notice a theme, because this is another pair of Cool shorts. These are a little different. They're like, got a stretchy waist. And they're more of a rip stop and a moisture wicking, whereas those were like a thicker hiking short. These are a size two. It's funny, they'll price, I guess it's because these are much more gray in person than they're coming up on there. Um, people can price their items however they want when they send them into thread up. So like there was two exact same pairs of this size 14 shorts. These were $16.99. So I think I paid $6.99 plus tax. And then the other pair was priced at $24.99 or something, so just have to kind of look. Alright, I promise it's not all cool, but this also is. And these are also a size 14, which is very and these are like a cargo kind of capri length-ish pant. They're all looking great shape. This is actually my husband's favorite brand to wear, which is, you know, that's how I know about it more or less. But so yeah. Another pair of khaki cools. I like to sell outdoor wear and I don't find a lot of it where I live. This is something I never would pay $9.43 for, but this is a J. Crew bikini bottom and I thought it was really cute on the website. This was actually only like $2.99, I think. So sometimes what I do to keep my cost of goods down is I pick it's really cute. It's seersucker with these like daisies on it. Um, what I do to keep my cost of goods down is pick something like $2.99 and put it with something that might be 11 no, it'd be like $13.99 or $12.99 to get above that threshold where I can take the $10 off. So that's why I have that in there. This was in the, what do they call it? Outlet section and it is a cool tank top. Um, I'm not really sure how this completely works because it's like the back's twisty. But it is a women's size extra small. It just says cool, born in the mountains. So I think I can get like 15 or so for that. And I don't get to source as much as I'd like. So this is kind of an outlet for me. And let's see, this is Matilda Jane, size 10. And it is new with the tags. And it was also in their boutique. This said women's, but this is definitely a girl's 10 because I'm a size 10 and there's no way in the world this would fit me. So yeah, but that's okay. I'd rather sell a girl's 10 than a women's 10 anyway. Usually they go a little faster. This dress is really cute and it's like a sweatshirt. So I think I can get at least probably 25 for that being new with tags. Nurse sold the 435, so. This is a great brand, outdoor brand. It's called Obermeyer. I'll show you the tag. It's gigantic. 
I sold a jacket, one jacket for 75 and one for 80, I think. This is a ladies 10. I've never sold a vest before, but it looks to be in okay condition. There's some peeling and things, but nothing major. So I don't know what I can get for this. I'm hoping at least for like $40, but it's a nice puffer quilted vest. The back's pretty cool too. Has the little overmire. Very popular for skiing and stuff. I actually got two items from them, which is kind of what drove my cost to goes up a little bit. This was also a ladies pin. This looks like a newer tag. Sort of says they don't take vintage, but I just don't think that's true. So this is actually a jacket. It's really cute. If I live somewhere cold, I might keep it. The pattern's cool. It's like almost a camo or but a paint splatter. I don't know. Alright, let's see what else we got in here. This is a mini Bowden. I think they call this super stitch. Um, it does have a stain on it, but I'll get to that. If you see this, I, I'm pretty sure that's called a super stitch. It does have like a grease spot right here. Um but it's really cute. I, I am in a buy sell trade group with me, Bowden, but I'll probably keep this for my son because he's in a three, four right now. And this is a four, five. Here's what the tag mini Bowden looks like. If you see that at the thrift, you might want to look it up for kids because, or Bowden for women, but some of the shirts are very desirable. There's one, I'll put a picture of it on the screen. This frog shirt, for some reason, on the boards I'm on, on Facebook, goes for like $50 for this little t-shirt in not new condition. Don't understand it. Okay, this was also in like the outlet section. This is just a Madewell top. But I thought it was really cute. The sleeves have like this open weave thing and they've got like a bell. And Madewell makes it so easy to find the photo name and if you want to use stock photos, usually there's a style number. Like this is from fall of 2017. And you can see kind of right here, it's a style and like five, usually five numbers or a letter and four numbers. So I thought that was cute. It's very lightweight, it feels nice. We have another pair of cool shorts. These aren't buttoned. These are a ladies eight. And these kind of feel like linen. I think they were linen, but it could be wrong. Do, do, do. Try to find the one in English. Yeah, well, I haven't found the English one yet, but definitely says 6% linen on here. Cause that's, in all these languages, it looks really much like linen. Oh, here we go. 6% linen, yeah. Kind of a light blue. I forget what these are called. I think I've sold these in that shorts before. This is also cool. And it is a size 12. These are more like just stretchy shorts. More active wear. Like I said, a ladies 12. You guys are probably tired of seeing cool by now, but it's a great brand too resell especially in the summer this is a brand i've picked off thread up one other time and it sold in the same day um it's called sims and it's a fishing thing these are like fishing performance shorts here's their logo if you see that out if it's cheap enough i consider picking it up because i think 10 or this is name matt from thrift line says that this has a sell-through rate of well over 100 percent for men's and i'm pretty sure women's does too all right these are wrapped up in some tissue paper i remember picking this this is a madewell scarf and it is 100 percent wool and it's from 2013 but it's just a really pretty knit wool scarf I don't always like to pick scarves, but this is in the outlet section. There's nothing wrong with it that I can see. Or, yeah, that's knit. Or crocheted. I don't know. You could use both if you want in the keyword. And this I thought was cute. This is just um, a gap hat, but it is 
38% rabbit hair and 4% wool, but it's like a bucket hat. I don't know if this will fit my head, but this is not my style at all. But I think this is kind of trendy and it's really cute. I am not trendy. So anyway, I think in this, uh, a lot of times this is a size medium large. This is from 2003. So this is like perfect Y2K. I love it. This was also in the outlet section. This is a Free People Beach skirt. I don't see this tag much. I don't find Free People much where I live. But it's really cute. It's like a knit skirt. And I don't know. I just thought it was really pretty. It's very lightweight. It does feel like it would feel good at the beach. So it's like a maxi skirt. And it does have a slit in the back. I can, should be able to look up the OB number on the back and find it. And this just says it is cotton and acrylic. So nothing special there. This I half ordered to myself. I can't decide if I want to keep it. I've been carrying a Madewell bag, but the, it's coming in sewn, so I don't really know. But this is a free people bag and I'm not really sure. It, it didn't say on the website. Here it is. We'll see. I don't know if it's leather or not. Um, no, I'm pretty sure it's faux leather. So just a faux leather bag, but this was like 18 or $20. I don't know. I might sell it. I might keep it. I kind of like a, a black classic crossbody. We got just a couple things left. These were a pretty good deal. Um, these are Chacos. I know they're women's five. If you don't know what Chaco looks like. Um, they look to be in pretty good condition, but they're just like a little water shoe. I like to have things like this in my store also, just to keep it going. These look in great condition, so I think they'll be fine. I don't remember, like I said, average cost of goods being $9.43. I didn't look up comps on these, but I think they'll be okay. I think 99% of what I ordered is returnable if something's not right. All right, two things left here. These, I have no idea what they'll resell for, but I really thought they were cute. These are Everlane, like, thong flip-flops. I didn't even know they made flip-flops. There's the bottom. They are new, pretty much. Yeah, they haven't been worn. And they are a lady size 10. So, I don't know. I think that thread up said, you know, that these were only like $30 new. I don't know if that's true or not, but I think they're pretty cool. And the last item I picked is by a brand called Icebreaker and they make wool performance clothes. If you've never heard of Icebreaker, um, this is 83% wool. And these are just some women's like cropped leggings. And I'll show you their logo because it will sell even with holes, you know, everything like that. I, these look pretty good. I did order an icebreaker t-shirt one time from ThreadUp and it had a hole, like a little small one in the shoulder and it still sold for $25 in one day. So this will sell. But I hope you all enjoyed this little haul. I enjoy shopping on ThreadUp, especially for outdoor wear and active wear. Like I like to learn new brands that way. So I hope you guys have a great night and let me know what you like to do uh, sourcing on ThreadUp and everything. So see you guys next time, bye.